Pastor Anne. Thank you. <laughs> so good to see you all. All right. Uh, welcome this. Uh, welcome everybody this evening for this evening's uh, Thanksgiving. And I'm Pastor Susie. On behalf of uh, the Firewall Committee, I'd like to welcome every one of you for taking time this evening uh, to come together. As you know that uh, this evening we'll be uh, having Holy Communion. Please prepare your Holy Communion elements ready. Yeah. All right. So. Well, guess today, guess we, today is the final day, right? Because we are giving Thanksgiving for this 24 uh, hours praise and worship. Guess on which day did we start this 24 MUFW 24 uh, praise and worship? You can put it on the chat if you if you can remember how many days ago. What which date was it that we started? Can anyone? Wow, Julia Ong, straight away, you got 30th of May, amen. Yes. Since 30th of May until now, do you know that um, today is the number what day? Is it the 30th day, the 40th day, the 49th day, the 50th day, or the 52nd day? Wrong, 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 no. Yes, 50th day, who got it? Yes, yes. so <laughs> Right. So, you know what, when we started um, this uh, praise and worship, uh, the core team was just thinking we are just doing it for a week. But lo and behold, we didn't know that that one week became two weeks, that two weeks become three weeks, you know, and that three weeks finally came out to, the, to, to 50 days. And this can only be because of the spirit of the Lord that has galvanized and mobilized everyone to come together. And we really want to praise the Lord this evening as we come to celebrate. And on this chat, I would like all of you to even just write down what has, how has it been for you, all right, over these this 50 days, what's your experience? In short phrases, what's your experience? What's your thanksgiving to the Lord over these 52 days of, of 24-7 praise and worship. Blessed. Okay, we have Stephanie that says that it's overwhelming. What else? Okay, let's see. Orderless can feel the Lord's presence in the atmosphere. For me, it's personally, I saw my special group of people that was running dry, you know, spiritually and, and somehow coming to the world, revive them. And since coming to the world, one time after that, you know, the next prayer altar and the following prayer altars, I think over, over, over time, they, they, they did about four or five altars. And I could see from one altar to another, their level of, of depth grew in, in, in their prayer. So breakthroughs and one sound. Praise the Lord. So this is what we are here for this evening, right? Just come to thank the Lord. And uh, we will start it off with uh, our praise and worship, and we will pass this time to Pastor Malcolm. Over to you, Pastor Malcolm. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Susie. Uh, praise God for this opportunity that we can come and uh, worship God together. And what an amazing thing to be able to do this for uh, 50 days. Uh, you know, and I, I believe that even as we uh well, close this time. In no way has God through with us, and I believe God is beginning something far greater. And even as we get ready to enter into a time of worship, uh, let's just commit this time to the Lord. Lord, we want to thank you for every leader, every pastor that is here today. We thank you that the body of Christ is has come together as one body to lift your name up, Lord. Lord, we continue to look to you, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord, that you are here with us and that you've been with us for these 49 days. And now, Lord, even as we come before your presence, Lord, we ask you to begin to continue to work in our hearts, work in our lives. Lord, work in the body of Christ and work in the name Lord, let your greater purposes and plans be carried out, Lord, as uh, on earth as it is in heaven, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. You know, in Psalm 71 verse 5, it says, For you are my hope, O Lord God. You are my trust since I was young. Let's continue to make the Lord our hope. Let's continue to make the Lord our source, even as we continue this journey in Jesus' name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh 
riches to me in the fullness of your grace in the power of your name you lift me Thank you for your grace, Lord. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you lift me up. You lift me up. Unfailing love. your love, Lord, deeper than oceans, reaches to me in the fullness of your grace, in the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you lift me up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love, Lord. Your love, oh Lord, reaches to the heavens. Thank you for your faithfulness, oh God. Your faithfulness reaches to the sky. Unfailing love. Unfailing. my strength, Lord. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reaches to me. You are my hope, Lord. You are my hope, yes, God, hope like no other, hope like no other, reaches to me. Lord, I thank you, Lord. You're our hope, you're our strength, you're our source, Lord. Lord, we continue to look to you, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord, that as we continue to depend on you, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you will always come through. We thank you, you never leave us nor forsake us, Lord. You're worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all glory. We lift you up in this place, Lord. We declare your majesty. We declare your greatness. There is none who deserves all praise and, as glo on, and glory as you, God. We lift you up and we bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All the saints and angels 
bow before your throne. All the elders cast the crowns before the Lamb of God and sing. Sing it again, all the saints. All the saints and angels bow before your throne. All the elders cast the crowns before the Lamb of God and sing you are worthy of it all yes Lord you are worthy of it all yes Lord we bless you for from you are all things to you are all things you deserve the glory Yes, you are, Lord. For from you, for from you are all things. To you are all things. You deserve the glory. All the saints and angels. All the saints and angels bow before your throne. Yes, God. The crowns before the Lamb of God and sing, you are worthy of it all. Jesus, you're worthy, Lord. You are worthy of it all. Come on and praise his name in this place. For from you are all things. To you are all things. You deserve the glory. You are worthy of it all. You are worthy, you are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, to you are all things. You deserve the glory. You are worthy of it all. Night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, I Yeah, I so. 
exalt his name in this place. I exalt thee. Yes, Lord. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. Oh, Lord. I exalt his name in this place. I exalt thee. Yes, Jesus, we exalt you, Lord. exalt your name in this place Lord we declare Lord that you are worthy of it all we declare that you de deserve all honor and all praise Lord and we thank you Lord that we are who we are because of your grace Lord Lord we give thanks to you Lord we thank you your amazing grace has saved us your amazing grace has carried us and your amazing grace has brought us to this place and your amazing grace will continue to lead us, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We praise your name in this place, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace, twas grace that taught my heart to fear. And grace my fears relieve How precious did the grace appear The hour I first believed My chains, my chains are gone I've been set God, my Savior, has ransomed me, and like a flood, His mercy reigned, unending love, amazing grace. The earth shall soon dissolve like snow the sun forbid to shine but God who called me here below will be forever mine sing the chorus have my chains my chains are gone set free my God my Savior had ransomed me and like a flood His mercy raised unending love amazing grace my chains my chains are gone God, my Savior, has ransomed me, and like a flood, His mercy reigns, 
unending love, amazing grace. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your amazing grace, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that your amazing grace will continue to see us through every circumstance and every situation, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless you. We praise you, Lord. Thank yes, you, Lord. Father, in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we're conscious of your amazing grace. Your amazing grace. Father, it's a season with the outpouring of an amazing grace. Truly, our chains are gone. Father, even right now, we're going to pray even for our brothers and sisters who are sick with COVID, Lord, especially those in Malaysian Bible Seminary. Our brother Lionel, Pastor Lionel and Pastor Marcus, uh, Marcel, and even past, uh, pastor's wives, so oh Lord God, and even those that we may not have their names, so oh Lord. Father, we want to, even members of the church, oh Lord God, that we don't know. And Father, even those, oh Lord, who are stricken and filled with fear at home. Father, even right now, May the amazing grace of the presence of the Lord just come into each and every one, O oh Lord God, whether they're in the hospital, whether they're at home, O oh Lord God. Father, may the amazing presence of the Lord be ask, O oh Lord God. O oh Lord God, we ask that by the stripes of Jesus, they will be healed tonight, O oh Lord God. They'll be healed tonight. Let there be an astounding miracle going yeah. forth even, O oh Lord, as we worship you, as a, yeah. as indeed, O oh Lord God, the altars of God continue, yeah. O oh Lord God, even after we have stopped, there'll be more altars continuing in our yeah. homes, in our offices, in our churches, everywhere we go, in different, different prayer networks, even the revival fire ministry meeting that's coming right now, even the global 24-7 that's happening right now, right now father lord let the truly oh lord god let the flames of revival begin to burn oh lord god throughout the length and breadth of malaysia let the presence of the lord fill every home fill every hospital fill every covid patient in jesus name. especially our brothers and sisters especially lord pastor lionel and pastor marcel especially lord in mbs oh lord god may the malaysian bible seminary right now let's just pray for the malaysian bible seminary right now oh lord god be filled with the holy presence be filled with the holy presence let your presence just flood out and flush out every COVID virus, Lord, from every human person there and from every premise, oh Lord God, that the presence of the Lord will come overwhelmingly strong into that Malaysian Bible seminary right now. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the mighty work of the finished work of Jesus on the cross. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Wow, I, I also didn't know that today is the 50th day. I thought it was 49, but actually if you count from the 30th of May, because the, May has two 30th and 31st. I missed out 31st. It's actually the 50th day. The 50th day. Isn't God good? He, Amen. Without us knowing, He took us on to the Jubilee, a breakthrough season. Amen? So Amen. now I'm going to invite two pastors to just... Uh, uh, just pray for us, give thanks to God. We must give thanks to God. Mm -hmm. Do you know it's impossible to do these things? Impossible. We must really thank the Lord for these mm -hmm. 50 days. Well, I also want to thank all of you who have taken part. All of you, actually every one of you, every one of you have been there to, to anchor or to encourage or to be there, to be even mm -hmm. present at the altars. All these 24 hours every day times 50 days. I don't know how many hours that is. My maths is not good enough. Maybe Pastor Susie can start calculating mm -hmm. how many hours Every one of you have made a difference. And that's why there's something that has shifted. All right. So I'm going to invite Pastor Quilan. He's actually from Keda. I've known him more than 20 over years ago. And also Pastor Eric. Pastor Eric will come on after it's from Malacca. I heard him pray one night, 5 a.m. or 3 a.m., some one of those uh, crazy hours. And I was just so blessed by his group in Malacca that they unceasingly pray for Malaysia. So Pastor Quilan, over to you first. Who's going Thank to bless you. us. Thank Amen. Give thanks to God. Thank you, Pastor Lichu. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I was just uh, reminded during this firewall prayer and gathering how important it is for us to take our position. You know, when we know our position, we know who we are in Christ Jesus, then hope arises. Hope is alive. And because of that, we are able to stand firm. And I know there is an awakening that's taking place over this nation of Malaysia. Psalms 9 says, But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has established his throne for justice. And he judges the world with righteousness. 
He judges the people with uprightness. The Lord is the stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. We thank you for your promise. We thank you for your hope. We thank you for a renewal and a revival that is taking place in our hearts. We thank you for your great power. We thank you, O God, in the midst of these challenging times. You are the way, you are the truth, and you are the life. We are ever grateful that you have set us free from the clutching grabs of the powers of darkness and given us a sense of destiny and hope. Lord, we just pray that you will be with your people, extending your grace, granting your freedom, providing your protection. Thank you, Lord, that we pray that, Lord, in the midst of these challenging times, your name will be proclaimed Mm -hmm. and that, Lord, the name Jesus, Lord, Mm -hmm. will be lifted up even more, even even. Uh, from the north to the south to the east and the west, O Lord. We thank you, Lord, that during these 50 days, you have brought about a great unification, Lord, that you have unified your people for the glory of your name, for your power, for your purposes, for the establishment of your kingdom in heaven as it is, Lord, so shall it be on this earth, O Lord. And for all of us, Lord, who... Uh, call as sons and daughters yeah. of the living God that yeah. during this season and time we will rise up oh God like never before yeah. believing in yeah. your great truth because Lord when we embrace your truth Lord it will set us free oh God wake us up oh Lord remind us yeah. To be aware, to redeem the time, to listen to your words, because your words, Lord, they are life and life forevermore. That we will be uh, able to make a big difference on this land, oh Lord. This land where you have strategically placed, oh Lord, all over this nation of Malaysia. We ask that, Lord, you will continue Mm -hmm. to speak to us, continue to impart upon us the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of counsel, Mm -hmm. the spirit of understanding, oh God, Mm -hmm. so that we will know the seasons and times and we will know how to move forward, oh God, with Mm -hmm. great authority and might, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your healing that is taking place over this nation of Malaysia. Thank you, O God, for shining your face over this land of Malaysia. We need you now more than ever, O God. Our times are in your hands. Thank you that you are rich in mercy. Your mercies are new every morning. So fall yes. afresh, O oh Lord, afresh yes. over this nation of Malaysia. Yes. Lord, we thank you that you are forgiving. You are merciful, O oh God. Thank you that you are strong and mighty, yes. O oh God. Thank you that you are for us. When you are with us, when you are for us, who can come against us? That you fight for us still today, yes. O oh Lord. Yes. We want to bring honor to your name, O Lord, for you alone are worthy. Lord, we ask that you will flood this nation. The sweeping move of the Holy Spirit, Lord, will just flood this nation, Lord, with warmth, with strength, with security, with protection, O Lord. And we are reminded once again, O Lord, in Psalms, that you shall be our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. We pray that, Lord, that we shall not fear, even though the mountains may feel as though they are shaking. The Lord of hosts, you are with us because you are the God of Jacob and you are our refuge. We commit this time to you, O God, and we thank you, O God, for what has taken place and we thank you for what we can see ahead of us, O Lord, and we know there is so much of clarity, there's so much of the fulfillment of your purposes as your people gather together. Because, Lord, we just want to see your kingdom come. We want to see your will be done, O God. And we want to see the name 
Jesus be lifted up, oh God. So we thank you for this awesome evening, oh God, where we can come together because you have said, oh God, where there is unity, where there is oneness of heart, Lord, there yes. you will command your blessings, oh God. Thank you for your yes. blessings, oh God. Thank you that you have released it over this nation of Malaysia. We are so grateful that, Lord, your heartbeat for this nation of Malaysia, and we know that you are turning around as much as you are bringing about a renewal and a revival in our hearts, oh Lord, to love you even more, oh God. So we thank you for this hour, for this season. There is so much of hope, and this hope is alive. This hope will arise, oh God. Amen because of that we will be strong and be firm in the very things of God Thank you, Lord Lord Jesus. over this nation of Malaysia. We bless you. We give you all the glory in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was reminded of the two disciples that was walking way out from Jerusalem to Emmaus. Uh, 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 from Emmaus yeah? uh, how Jesus appeared to them and expounded the scriptures to them and how they invited the Lord Jesus into their homes and when the Lord Jesus broke bread their eyes are being opened and these are the words that the disciples were saying did not our hearts burn in within us while he talked to us by the way and while he opened to us the scriptures praise the Lord for the past 50 days I believe that God has been constantly speaking to us God has been moving in our hearts. He has been burning. Uh, uh, he's been sending forth fire in our hearts like never before. And God is opening our eyes each time. How many times we have been doing Holy Communion and God has been speaking and opening our eyes. I believe God has been speaking to us. The word Cleopas came into my mind, okay, through these scriptures. Cleopas, Cleopas, okay, it's not a very prominent disciple that we can ever know of. But God is there speaking, to even you, you may not be known much in this group, but God has been speaking even to Cleopas, one of his disciples. God has been speaking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's, let's, let's give thanks to God for what he has done for us for the past 50 days. Bapa kami yang di surga, kami mengucap syukur Tuhan karena engkau telah beracara di dalam hidup kami Tuhan. Selama 50 hari Tuhan yang melambangkan pembebasan, pelepasan, pemulihan Tuhan akan terjadi Tuhan dengan lebih luar biasa pada akhir zaman. Bukankah hati kami berkobar-kobar? Bukankah hati kami berapi-api apabila engkau berbicara kepada kami sepanjang perjalanan kami Tuhan kami tahu Tuhan engkau telah berbicara kepada kami Tuhan kami tahu bahwa engkau sedang melakukan sesuatu dalam hati kami Tuhan sebagai umatmu Tuhan haleluya itulah sebabnya Tuhan kami mau engkau datang bersama-sama dengan kami kami mau engkau bermalam dengan kami engkau Tuhan mengadakan perjamuan kudus dengan kami Haleluya, sehingga mata kami pun terbuka dan melihat engkau dengan luar biasa. Haleluya, dan kami kembali ke Yerusalem Tuhan. Haleluya, Tuhan kami mengucap syukur. Kami mengucap syukur engkau memimpin kami kembali ke Yerusalem. Di mana engkau akan melakukan hal-hal yang lebih luar biasa. Tuhan di Yerusalem, Tuhan kerjakan yang luar biasa. Bukankah hati kami Tuhan terus berkobar-kobar. Haleluya, maka kami mengucap syukur dan berterima kasih. Dan kami berdoa bagi setiap tubuh Kristus. Setiap anggota jemaat gereja supaya Tuhan mereka senantiasa mendengar suaramu berbicara kepada mereka. Mereka akan senantiasa mendengar bahwa engkau berbicara kepada mereka apabila mereka memeliti firman Tuhan. Firman ini akan Tuhan menyala dan menerangi mereka Tuhan dengan kebenaran yang luar biasa. Sehingga mereka menjadi muridmu yang luar biasa. Setiap kali Tuhan mereka mengambil perjamuan kudus. Mereka akan mengalami lawatanmu yang luar biasa. Dan sebentar lagi kami akan mengambil perjamuan kudus. Tuhan engkau datang dan melawat kami sekali lagi Tuhan. Terima kasih Bapak. Kami serahkan diri kami. Masa ini ke dalam tanganmu. Berkatikan kami Tuhan sekali lagi. Umatmu yang luar biasa di Malaysia ini Tuhan. Dalam nama Yesus kami berdoa. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Amen. Pastor Eric and Pastor Quilan and also Pastor Malcolm who led us in worship. And you know, really want to thank everyone, every one of us, uh, of, of you, who has really, really joined uh, uh, join us on this firewall. And, and as, as, as Pastor Susie shared and said when we first started, uh, to be honest, I'm a person of very little faith. 
I said seven days as all I'm prepared for seven days because I didn't have the faith to think that we could go any more than seven days. But it's a lot of Holy Spirit. Do you know one of the things I've learned is this? All right, so thank you so much. Do share what you felt throughout the 50 days, what you have learned, what you have obtained. Do share it on the chat group. We intend to save it because it's to give glory to God. Yes, we pray our 1,200 hours of worship. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it's 1,200. Thank you for doing the calculation, right? But I want to share this. What has I? What have I gained? Number one, I've gained this, that God, when He takes us on a journey, He is very, very compassionate, very kind. He, he knew that 40 days, we cannot cope. So He just encourage us okay seven days and after seven days is, is that all you can offer that okay okay seven more is that all then 21 after 21 it's like oh i've had enough you know then suddenly you know the the the, the inspired you know the, the it's, it's it's i would say one of the greatest things i've learned is the power of the church coming together i've never met so many believers from different different backgrounds and different and so many pastors i made friends with so many pastors i feel like i know so many people in malaysia suddenly it was have never been possible without this time together so god has brought us to be his family and i think the encouragement the words release and all that and so we were able to move a bit at time and god encouraging us bit by bit but you know something god is also saying this is that season now you have entered the 50th day, and 50 is about jubilee, so it's about being now get out, okay? So now is the time of liberty. God wants to release what He has set, put inside us, so that what we have inside us must now be carried back to our churches. And let's go on to the first slide. I only want to do it in a short time because, all right, let's start by this. Okay, let's next, next thing. So one of the main things is that how do we keep this fire going? How do we now continue to make sure that even as we have been refreshed and there's so many stories of being refreshed, so many stories of, of people that, wow, they want to now want to want to really worship the Lord. They want to spend time with the Lord. How can we keep this fire go, going? Last week, I told you the fire must be kept burning on the altar continuously day and night. And the first person it must burn in is the each of us. I like what Pastor Malcolm told me. He said, do you know what? It is still about the personal altar. You know, I want to encourage you, go on to the Malaysian United Firewall. If you don't know how to pray, as I said, go there, join that, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. But you know what? You should build your own personal altar as well. Then go and build a church altar. And I'm going to say this again, Pastors Fellowship. For the first time, I begin to recognize the importance of the Pastors Fellowship coming together to pray. So what is the direction that the Malaysian United Firewall would like all of us to do? Go in the next part. What has the Lord said to us? Now, this is the main thing God has said now. The main thing God has said now, from the 19th of July to the 8th of August, just at the beginning of the NECF 40 days, the Lord says 21 days, and He gave the words, pray and protect. Pray together in small groups. All right, so how are you going to pray? I'm going to encourage every one of you from now to the 8th of August or to the launch of the 40 days, which is the 6th of August, but I just put up to 8th of August, 21 days, gather in small groups, whether it's in your church, in your cell groups, your prayer teams, your pa and pastors, I will encourage pastors fellowships. Now, Selangor has many, many pastors fellowships. Going to a Kajang Pastors Fellowship. I was so encouraged. I went to the Kajang Pastors Fellowship uh, the other day and they're going to pray every day for one hour, every night for one hour, 10 to 11, something like that. At least once a week, at least once a week. When I heard that every day, 10 to 11, I was saying, wow, it really encouraged me because the Lord says they must continue to pray. They must continue to pray. They must never, they must contend as one man and, uh, and prayer groups, you know, small groups, a smaller size is three or two, two or three. So the two or three gather one hour, once a week at least. If you can pray once, if you can three times a week, five times a week, even better. But at least once a week. I'm starting to activate mine uh, uh, already. I've started, uh, I'm meeting mine already. My pastors are going to meet already. So every church, get into your groups to begin to pray. Tell yourselves, begin to pray. Because the fire that you have caught must keep on burning. Now, how do you pray? Let's move next slide. Come on, next slide. Pray for the nation, as per the NECF guide. If you don't know how to, uh, now we have actually written the prayers for you. It's on the firewall. Go bit by bit. Now, what else do you want to pray for? Now, this is very important. Next slide. This is very, very important. The Lord began to say to me, the most, as you pray for the nation, now, you'll be very overwhelmed. If you look at everything in our nation, you'll be overwhelmed. So, praise the Lord. As Pastor Quilan shared in Psalm 9, 
the Lord is on the throne. The Lord is on the throne. In fact, the Lord said to me, don't worry about everything. Make sure that I like this. So the Lord gave me a verse. John 7, 37 to 38. On the last day, the great day of feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, listen to what Jesus said. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. It, the first thing is that, are we thirsting for the Holy Spirit? And this is what the Lord is saying to me. You know, I... I, I at, at, uh, we, we actually gather for prayer as well. We have a watchman training going on. We have intercessors coming together to pray. And I remember last week at one of the intercessors gathering of the beginning of the seventh uh, of last week, the Lord began to use one of the uh, prayer pastors who said that the people in Malaysia, the churches in Malaysia, even if the Holy Spirit is not there, you wouldn't know because they can still run their church. Hey, this cannot be so. So there must be a desperation inside us. We thirst, O oh Lord God. If you don't turn up, we cannot move any longer. Our nation has too much problems. COVID is too hard, you know. Do you know something? No, Hisham just said that this virus what, spreads in four seconds. And then WHO said there may be more variants. But you know what? In the midst of that, the Lord says, I'm going to show the world one thing. When my people thirst for me and come, 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 come. Not just thirst. Come and drink from the Lord. Drink. Spend more time drinking. Drink the word of God in. Allow the Holy Spirit. Now, what does happen? Now, it's not just signs and wonders. First, to cleanse us. Secondly, to renew our minds. Do you know that there's a great shifting of our minds and realign us back to God? It re you know, there's so much God's going to recraft. He's going to even renew our minds the way we think, even the way we run programs, even the way we reach out to people, even the way we will have compassion for the sick. And He has to cleanse us of our way we think, from the ways of the world, as he does that, whoa, I believe there'll be such a thirst for the Holy Spirit throughout. Now, I want to say this. When every one of you, plus all your networks, begin to thirst for the Holy Spirit and cry out to God, the word actually God gave me is, cry, cry, Lord, unless you turn up. We cannot, and don't, and the word this morning, I received another word from Penang, Prayer United, uh, one of the young young people in Prayer United in Penang, sent a word, says, it's persistent, and consistent prayer. We must pray like the woman in Luke 18. She prayed and she went to an unrighteous church to pray for justice. Will not the judge who, of all the earth, who is just and good and righteous, will he not avenge us? Will he not answer our prayers? But we have to pray all the time, consistently, persistently. That's what the firewall, that's why I want to say this. You don't know how to pray, go to the firewall. We would well, I want you to sign all 24 hours so that we have 24 hours of prayer every day. Please, Take up 15 minute slots, 15 minute slots. We just need a few more thousand to take up and every state will be covered. So what is the direction of prayer in the next 21 days? Come together and say, Lord, we need an outpouring. Lord, we need an outpouring. And as you do that, pray for the sick, pray for the government, but we need an outpouring. Number three, number next one, next slide. What do you do? Protect each other. Now, if you go to the firewall, Protection is the most powerful thing. I felt the Lord say to me, content as one man, watch each other's backs. How do you watch each other's backs? Bless one another. So if you go to the firewall, there's a prayer given to you. Uh, and the prayer goes something like this. So, so if I look at Pastor Quilan, Pastor Malcolm, and, and Pastor Eric, I would say, the Lord is Pastor Malcolm, Pastor Eric, and Pastor Quilan's shepherd. They will never be in want. The Lord will lead Pastor Quila and Pastor Malcolm and Pastor Eric into green pastures, still waters, and they will refresh their soul, etc., etc. I felt the Lord say this to me. Take a verse of scripture. Pray over each other. You will create a wall of protection. Never at any one time do we need to protect one another. It's not just contending contending uh, for the for uh, contending but it's also contending as one man and not to contend for one man is to protect each other now incidentally i want to say a very important thing the intercessors gave me this so you must listen to this do not bind and loose the enemy you are not ready yet we are not ready yet believe me we are not ready yet there are many many gaps in our lives allow the holy spirit in the next 21 days to cleanse us to deal with us, to renew us, especially renew our relationships with one another, especially cause our pastor's fellowship to be strong, especially cause our pastors to be blessed, especially cause you as prayer leaders, as prayer people, people who want to pray, pray for each other, even in cell groups, as churches, there must be a love within one another. So no binding, no breaking, but blessing, 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 blessing. Why blessing? Because it's a prayer of love. 
and love covers a multitude of sins. Now, I want to move on. So, 21 days, prayer and protection. How do you pray? Pray for the nation. Pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. First, cry. Say, Lord, Holy Spirit, unless you come, we can do nothing, 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 nothing. Renew me. Renew my mind. Refresh me. You know, the Lord gave me one word this morning. He says, Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Have you not seen it? And then as you pray, as small groups, in small groups, protect one another. Always end with a prayer of protection. Protect one another. Watch over each other's back. Love one another. Deal with anything that separates us. All right? As you do that, we move on. As all this is going on, let your light shine. Let your light shine. I mentioned now, I'm going to show you that the churches, all your churches, we want you to let your light shine. Think about makan, a gongsi, do all the things that will bring, let your light shine. Food banks, Help the poor, whatever. Now, this is what KVPF, Clang Mali's Pastors Fellowship has. They have a crisis call center, just to give you an example of how they are doing something. Next slide. And in this crisis call center, this is how you can get involved. KVPF is going to have a crisis call center where they need counselors, prayer people to pray for the sick, to pray for the depressed, to pray for those who are so scared, to pray for even, you know something? I would ask us to even pray for all the pastors who are sick, all the churches who need prayer. Pray for all the outreach activities that the churches will have. Food banks, all right? We need volunteers to come and help with the food banks. And then Crest. Crest has a powerful project. Unfortunately, I have no picture to show you, where they're trying to set up a quarantine center and, and they will need all the help, all the financial help, all the uh, volunteers, both clinical and non-clinical. Wow, what you may say, what a thing to do. Well, do you know something? What a thing for God to do. 50 days of 24 hours of praise and worship. Now, the, what a thing to do. A quarantine center. Has it ever been done? No. But God is in the land. So, brothers and sisters, this is a time when God is asking us to flow with Him. Now, next slide. Very important. Oh, there's, there should be one more slide. Sorry. One more slide is prepare. No. One missing slide. Sorry. It's my fault. One missing slide. Go backwards, please. Go back to the. Uh, go back, back. One very important thing is this: prepare pastors. Start preparing your church for the forty days of prayer and fasting. The opening launch is on the sixth. Let's all join. Let's all. Let's all. I know that you may say, "Oh, but my church has this." My da 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 da. I made that mistake, and I want to repent. Do you know this is a time when we must move as one? We must move as one. We must move as one. We must move as one. When there is unity, the Lord commands a blessing. For on the 6th of August, let's all go to the NECF launch. And pastors, I'm going to ask you to start now. I gave you 21. Uh, the Lord has given, not I am. The Lord has given 21 days. Start preparing. Start preparing your church. What to do and start calling your church in for nights of prayer inside your church throughout the 40 days of prayer and fasting. Now, we in the firewall may have a meeting on the 8th of August to maybe guide the prayers uh, of what different churches may be uh, doing for the prayer and fasting, but or we may not. We are not sure yet. So just give us, a, remember I told you, when the cloud moves, I move. When the cloud stops, I stop. So I'm still waiting for directions from the Holy Spirit, whether or not we will have a gathering on the 8th of August. But whatever it is, prepare to join your church, to build your church for the 40 days of prayer and fasting. I believe that this year's national prayer and fasting will be the most important. Will be the most important because it spans the time when our nation needs it the most. Parliament is starting. Parliament is starting at the end of this month, and it will be the most important fast our nation will go through. Now, after tonight, I want to finish soon. I'm going to pass the time to pass, uh, uh, pass Sam Ang, the Secretary General of NECF. So just before I call him in, I want to show you what some people ask me. So after 8 o'clock, what do I do? Uh, actually, already plenty of things to do. Next slide. You can join the Global 24-7. The Global 24-7 of Praise and Worship is ongoing. We are taking slots on Thursday. Uh, two more Thursdays, 22nd, we're taking a slot. 29th, we're taking a slot of 24 hours. You can offer your, you can come in and join us there. But it's ongoing, all right? Ongoing. And also, right now, right now, you can go to this, the second spiritual warfare organized by the Revival Fire Movement. You have Pastor Philip Lin speaking, and my husband, Pastor Chiu Wing Chi speaking, and Pastor Raymond Mui, and Reverend Angeline and Augustine Xiang. All right, so go there immediately after this. Now, I want to invite Pastor Sam Ang, 
Secretary General of NECF, to lead us now into a time of communion because we want to give thanks to the Lord. We really want to thank the Lord for what He has done. And the most powerful way and the most wonderful thing God has done is actually to seal us as His children with the with, 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 with his blood. So I want to hand this time over now to Pastor Sam. I'm, I'm so grateful to you, Pastor Sam. We are so grateful to you that you can come and close this uh, 20, uh, 50 days of 24-7 by, by blessing us and by leading us in the Holy Communion. Over to you, Pastor Sam. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Pastor Lee Chu. Uh, it is a joy to be together with all the saints uh, in this closure of this Malaysian uh, United Prayer War. Uh, it has been, I believe, a very interesting and exciting uh, 50 days. But this evening, as we close the United Firewall uh, Prayer Initiative that has been going on in the last seven weeks, it was truly been a blessing to all of us and the Malaysian Church. And now we have ascertained that as today is the 50th day and therefore we can always rejoice and know that today is a jubilee celebration. In many ways, the United Prayer Firewall has brought the churches throughout the nation of different ethnic language and race together with one main agenda, saturate the church and nation with intensive prayer. As they say, the icing of the cake is when we all come together to the Lord's table, which is made possible to us when we think of the verses that Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 4 to 6. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Throughout these 50 days, two important things were taken, were taken place with the team Born to Build, abbreviated as B to B. First is bonding. Now, we have to appreciate the unseen unity that has taken place for the Malaysian church in the last 50 days. Secondly, we have learned to know each other better. The bonding between the East and the West, the appreciation of our heritage and culture, the learning of new songs through worship, and the opportunity to pray together and for one another. And thirdly, the sharing of what God is doing in our respective churches and localities. The second B is building. Never in my experience have I witnessed God's presence and his glory among the Malaysian church. As a church, we have been preparing ourselves as the bride of Christ. This has led to the unseen unity of the church. Secondly, though we long to see revival, indeed revival has already come, not in the ways and thoughts of men, but in the ways of God. We are experiencing transforming revival in communities, cities, and the nation. It is a movement with faceless leadership. God is at work, and we need to build upon what God has started. Our building must not stop. It is not over. In fact, sharing from after tonight, they are already events and the next 21 days to prepare ourselves for the uh, 40 days fast and prayer that launched by NECF. Can you imagine that we are moving together as one family of God 
into the new direction that God has opened the door for us. So as I said, as building will not stop and it is not over. Just like Nehemiah chapter 3, the account of the rebuilding of the wall. The key word in that chapter is the word next. Each one of us needs to build strong spiritual foundation on his or her portion that will weather the coming storm at the end of age. What a joy for us to reflect the blessings of B to B, born to build, that we had in the last 50 days and are able to seal our love for the Lord by participating in the Holy Communion together. And this invitation comes to all of us by the Lord himself and is indeed a time for rejoicing and to remember the goodness of God. As you prepare for the Holy Communion, this we will now do, uh, I, will, I trust that you would have your elements with you, the bread, which is the body of the Lord that was broken for us, and the cup, that is the blood that is shed for the remission of our sin. That the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us take the bread together. In the same manner, he also took the cup that's after supper saying, this cup is the new cup. <coughs> new covenant in my blood. <coughs> Do this as often <coughs> as you drink it in remembrance of me. <coughs> Let's drink the cup. <coughs> I believe I'm <clears throat> also asked to pray and also <clears throat> do the benediction. Shall we <clears throat> all pray? <clears throat> Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom come and your will be established on earth as it is in heaven. We want to thank you for sustaining us in the last 50 days, that together with oneness in heart, we were involved in building the Malaysian United Firewall. What was impossible to us was made possible to you. It has been a time of bonding and building for the Malaysian church in spite of what our nation went through, the COVID-19 pandemic and both political and economic turmoil. The church stood firm and stayed focused in the things of God rather than the things of men. Though few of your servants were taken home in glory serving you, we want to pray for their loved ones that your peace and comfort be upon them. The fruit of their labor will continue to bring glory to your name. During this 50 days, we were assured of your glorious presence. 
for you the almighty god had built the wall of fire protecting your church and your people that gave us the resolute to build the united firewall around the malaysian church the sharing from many on the goodness of god truly brought much encouragement and hope to all of us the testimonies affirm the transforming revival that we are experiencing in our midst as we look towards the future of the malaysian church our cry this evening is for you o lord to restore your glory upon your church to refresh your servants and equip them to share the gospel faithfully and to rebuild the church so that the flock will be cared for and protected we want to thank you o lord for hearing our prayers this evening and now for the benediction now may the god of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit soul and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our lord jesus christ he who calls you is faithful who also will do it the lord bless you and keep you the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace and all god's people say amen amen and amen and amen thank you so much pastor sam thank you so much wow thank you so much thank you so much truly god has brought us together to bond and to build so now go forth all right stand firm strong resilient and go ahead go higher fast more more and may the glory of the lord be spread upon our nation so father lord we thank you continue lord to walk with us towards even what you are calling us towards that the church of god in malaysia will never allow anything to put them down in jesus name we pray amen so go now join all the things that wow there's more now that things are happening out there the uh, the, the men are taking on the women now going going and join the men all right join pastor philip pastor then uh, uh, philip and pastor chu they all or you can join the global the global 24/7 is going on right now right now All right so God bless you until you hear from us of the gathering for sure we will regather but I don't know when okay so just begin to build your altar strong resolute resilient persistent and consistent not once in a blue moon every day every day if possible and once a week gather to pray amen god bless you thank you so much brothers and sisters god bless you god bless you thank you so much and I want to thank all of you for making this possible and the lord who has made this possible god bless you take care thank you thank you
Beside you, all around you, and within. 